Okay, right now we're going to take a look at some Boolean operations. Okay, so the first Boolean operation we're going to take a look at with OpenSCAD is called Union. And uh, Union simply allows us to put two objects together. So if you look what I have here already, I have a cylinder, okay, and I have a cube. And I can show you just one of them by putting an exclamation point in front of it and hitting a 5. So there's just my cylinder, right? And there is just my cube. Cool. Now the interesting about the union command is it's basically the default when you put more than one object into OpenSCAD. So if I delete this here, you'll notice no difference because it's by default it's putting the objects together with a union function. Okay, so let's take a look at something else. I have here now uh, what I'm calling a silo. Okay. It's got the top part here, and it's got the bottom part here. Um, and uh, again, these forward slashes are just indicating a comment. So the code, the, the, the software is not reading this part, the silo on the top. This is just for us, so we know what's going on here. OK, so the bottom of my silo is going to be this cylinder here. And the top is going to be this here. So I have, I'm translating this up 10, the same height as this, right, so they're going to be touching. And then this cylinder um, has radius 1 of 5, radius 2 of 0, so it's going to become a cone. There you have it, right? So making a radius 2 of 0, it's going to go to the smallest possible point at the top. Cool. And again, if I were to remove the union part here, no change, no change, no change. Okay. Well, let's take some cylinders and put them together. Okay. All right. Now we have a couple cylinders here. Cool. So we're simply taking one cylinder here on the vertical plane, and then we're taking another cylinder and rotating it. Um, th in this case, I'm also using the center equals true value. So that way, uh, my cylinder is going to be in the middle instead of off to the side. If I don't use that, I'm going to get a slightly different result. But I can show you how that would look. Like that. You see that? So the center command can be quite useful. Okay. Um, we also have an eight sided star here. Okay. And this is just simply two cubes, right? The exact same size, five, 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 right? And five, five, five. And we are centering them each, right? And this, the second one, I'm just rotating it. That's all I'm doing, right? And this actually doesn't make sense here. We're gonna take that out. <laughs> okay. Is our eight-sided star? Cool. So next we have our difference command. Okay, so we're going to take a cylinder here. Okay, and zoom out a little bit. And we have our second cylinder here. Okay, so just like our two cylinders before. Okay, we're instead of putting them together, right? So if we were using union, it would look like that. We're going to use difference. That. So what happens is the second object is removed from the first object. If we were to reverse the order here, right? Comment. Get a different result. There you go. And because the second cylinder has a bigger diameter than the first one, it's actually going to cut it completely in half. There we go. Okay. We can use the same principle to make a very simple cup. Take a cylinder here for the outside, and take another cylinder, and we're going to make it a little smaller, okay? And then we're going to translate it up, and that will cut a little hole for us. So, wow, zoom out. So we have a very simple cup. There you have it. Very cool. All right.
Okay, next we're going to take a look at the intersection command. So, start out by showing what we have here, and zoom back in. We have a regular old cylinder here, centered. And then we have our sideways cylinder from before, right? And what we were doing is we looked at union, okay, together. Then we looked at difference, oops, like that, okay. Now we're going to look at intersection. Intersection is just going to give us where the two objects meet. That's it. So wherever they meet, that's what's going to be saved and the rest is going to be discarded, essentially. Okay, so kind of cool. You get some unique shapes using that. Very cool. Alright, so let's give you one more option. We're going to look at all three. So, uh, I have a cylinder that's going directly through a cube and I've rotated it 45 degrees over the X axis and 45 degrees over the Y axis. Okay, so it's going right from corner to corner through my cube here. Okay, and I can change this command from union to difference. And do you think you know what's going to happen? Well, let's see if you're right. Yep, cuts a big old hole through there. It looks like a very crazy shape. Looks like I spent a lot of time on that. <laughs> and next, we're going to do intersection. Okay, even more crazy. Looks a little bit like a piece of chalk that broke off or something, right? Cool. All right, so have fun using your Boolean operations, and uh, let me know what you think.